It's early morning, 8 o'clock, and we just saw the raising of the flag at the Tong Law Metropolitan Police Station. So it's not often that you get to see that. That was good. Uh, we're going to go for a walk on the other side of the road and see what's happening at 8 o'clock in the morning. I love the mornings. It's really loud too, by the way, on this road, so I do apologise. Nothing I can do about it. I love the mornings. People are on their way to work. They're all getting their lunches together. Uh, sidewalk cafes. Just such a good vibe and I just missed that bus. I wanted to catch that down to the end. The other day I said these BART buses were 10 BART. They're actually eight. Lots of fruit. That's looking back towards my com. You can't quite see it here, but it's behind that uh, cream looking building. Here's the bus stop, so I might wait for a bus rather than walk the two Ks down to the end. In the video I shot the other day, you can just see how many little shops there are through here. And it kind of goes in sections. There's more shops, there's more sort of restauranty uh, places on that side than there is on this side of the road. Uh, we'll keep walking. I've had two buses come past and they're absolutely chock a block, so I might be walking down the end by the looks of it. This place over here, Tom Law Fine Dining Tavern. And there's a tipsy rooftop bar. I should really be doing this walk uh, when it's more busier, lunchtime or something like that, but it's just getting so hot throughout the day. I don't really want to be out lunchtime walking around making videos, so you just have to get the idea that these places will be open and there'll be people eating and drinking and doing all that sort of stuff. Here's an interesting little place, Singapore Chicken Rice. I'm transporting me right back to Singapore. Down Tong Law Soy 14, there's a couple of bars, and we're sort of blocked by the car. But it gives you an idea, there's uh, probably, there's a little blues uh, place down there, maybe a jazz bar. Yeah, it looks very funky. Apartment block or condos, I always get confused which is what. But look at the size of the balconies on the left hand side. This place is called Tila, I think, or Tela, Tila Tunglo. Oh, I could have caught this bus, it's half empty. More restaurants spilling out onto the pavement. Oh, this looks very nice, this one. If we don't get blocked, there's a Starbucks right across the road. Very nice under the trees. I was there the other day. It's very cool on those, uh, these hot days we're getting. This place is called Grand Center Point, Sukhumvit 55. Let's see if I can zoom up. Oh, a little bit hard to see. It's a beautiful entrance to the building. It really is. I've noticed in Tong Law, it's uh, very blingy. Very, uh, very fashionable, upmarket, and some of the cars that I've seen coming around here are just uh, unbelievable. Uh, models I've never seen before, and I would imagine they would cost a small fortune. A couple of restaurants here, El Gaucho. It's too early, of course. If you need some tailoring done, this is called Urban Dude. This coffee shop is called True. I think that's what it is. And really nice just to sit out here. Very noisy though, but it's got a nice breeze to it. This is called Eight Tong Law, and you're going to find some shops and some eateries and coffee shops. This place is called Paul Fresh Delicious Sandwiches. Start your day with fresh delicious sandwiches at Paul's. Grab them for a perfect bite. There's one thing I noticed the other day, I needed to get some money exchanged and I didn't see one single money exchanger here. I actually had to go all the way back down to a sock and get some money changed there. There are some banks, but I don't think their exchange rates as good as some of these uh, money exchanges. This place is called Marche, I think. Hopefully I haven't butchered the name, Marche Tong Lo. Very unusual with that walkway up there. Let's see if it's open and I can get up and have a look. Very handy to know, a 24 hours food hall. I'm not going to go right in and film because they may not appreciate it. However, it looks like an Audi or a Woolies. Fresh food, meat, vegetables, wine, all that sort of stuff. That's one thing in Thailand, you're never going to go hungry. There's food on the street and almost every corner there's a 7-Eleven or a Tops or in this case in Tong Lo, there's a couple of 24 hour uh, supermarkets. I've managed to get myself almost to the top and here is this walkway which has fascinated me. Might give us a bit of a view, but we're kind of blocked by all the buildings. This is a striking looking building. You can't really see it from the street. 
It's not until you get up here you kind of understand how big those columns are. I'm just going to order a watermelon off this lady. Yeah, just this one here. Thank you. She's going to prepare for us. I can't speak. Let's have a look and see what she does. Beautiful. And there we go. Tell my crap. You see, couple my crap. I've just crossed the road because I wanted to come to this place and uh, make a video out of it, but it's closed for now, so I'll have to come back later today. This is called Angoon's Garden Charity and Gift Shop. The purpose of these videos is really for me coming into an area like Tong Law and staying for a week or more gives me an idea of what this suburb is like in relation to other places that I've been to in Bangkok. I love it here. It's clean, it's modern, uh, as they say it's hip, it's got the hipsters, it's got fantastic bars, restaurants, uh, supermarkets, it's got everything you need. You can go to the Klong and catch a riverboat, you've got the BTS just up the road here, and the public buses are fantastic, they run every few minutes. It's a fantastic area. I just wish I was uh, a rich bugger so I can buy a house in one of these uh, back streets. That would be fantastic.